Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cheryl Grabowski and I am the Narc Slayer. I, I want to talk to y'all today about protecting your peace. Because where I am in my life right now, that's the only thing that matters. Being um, a mother of four adult children, three sons, one daughter, and they all have children. <laughs> I want to let y'all know. It's a, uh, it's a job protecting my peace. And you might be like me. You might have a full life. A husband, possibly, significant other, children, grandkids. You might even still be working. You got relatives and friends and all of that. So, the thing that I've been doing now in my life is if I don't want to interact, if I don't want to go places, if I don't want to be around a certain person or people, I might decide there's a family function going on and I might decide to go to the family function. But then I'm only going to be there for an hour. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, or I might decide, actually, I'm not going. I don't want to go because I just don't want to. I know it's the family and I know it's good to hang around with family. But if that's not what I want to do, I don't feel like it. I'd rather stay at home or go for a quiet walk or whatever. I go get a, some ice cream, whatever it is. Then I just do it. So sometimes you're pressured by people, you know, pulling on you and wanting you to be this to this person and this to that person. And they want your advice or they want your company, but you need your company. Like, you need you. Like, nowadays, I, I like me. And I've been getting to know what I like even more because the self-awareness, my self-awareness of what I like and what's enough for me and what's too much for me. So I give you permission. Like if nobody, like you don't need my permission, but I give you permission to do what you want to do and not to be so overwhelmed about what other people expect from you. That's their expectation. Do you understand? It's almost like when we did the video not too long ago and I told you to say no. Say no. Let no be, let no have an entirely do, new meaning for you. No means no, like I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna talk, I don't wanna share. I don't wanna go because I'd rather not talk. I'd rather go where I want to go. I'd rather speak with who I wanna speak with. You see what I'm saying? So it's no. So every time, mental wise, every time you say no, just understand that you're blessing yourself. <laughs> and then once you've done most of what you want to do and your energy is full, then you can share from your reservoir of you protecting your peace and you saying no to 10 people who all want a piece of you and then you give them all a piece and you have nothing. You have nothing left for yourself. And then when you're in depletion and you ask them for something, it's not much, something small. They can't do it because they don't have anything for you when you've shared yourself and spread yourself too thin. Learn how to say no. Learn how to say no. Um, I think about this, uh, this YouTube life <laughs> and all of the interactions and the, the, the relationships that you form on YouTube and sometimes, you know, 
I understand that I, every time I go live, my moderators cannot be there. I understand that. I'm not asking them for blood, sweat, and tears. I'm not doing that. I don't expect that. See, that's an expectation. That every time I go live, that all of my moderators are in here all the time. That's a, that's a, that's too much. That's too much on my part to demand or to expect the expectation that they're going to be there all the all the time. It's, it comes it becomes a burden and it becomes grievous to people if they are always expected to do something or to be there for you, right? So I got to make sure that I govern myself accordingly, that I'm not too, put in, putting too much of an expectation on other people when it comes to me. Do you understand? So anything, anytime you feel pressure to do something for someone, just make sure that you've done something for you. You're supposed to take care of you. It's your responsibility. And that includes your expectations, your feelings, and your emotions. A lot of times we're projecting onto other people because we don't want to take care of our inner world. <laughs> I can expect you to love me when I don't love myself. I can expect you to respect me when I don't have any self-respect, my own self. And I can't expect you to do something, anything for me that I've not done for myself. I can't expect you to look out for me when I'm not looking out for myself. Do you understand? Part of looking out for yourself is learning how to trust yourself. When your internal GPS is nudging at you about a particular thing or a particular person, then trust it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Trust it. Trust you. Learn how to say no. And stop. Please stop letting yourself down. You have a new expectation today. The new expectation is to expect you to look out for yourself, to govern yourself accordingly, and to embrace that beautiful word, which is no. And that word is a boundary that you set in order to service and to guard yourself and to love on yourself and to put you first. All right? So kisses and hugs. Don't worry about people feeling no type of way because that's their issue. Don't worry about because you're not responsible for how they feel, right? And you've got to be the same way when it comes to you. Do you understand? Don't expect people to put you first if you're not putting yourself first, okay? Kisses and hugs. I'll see y'all on the next video. Bye, guys, and stay away from them. No, excuse me. Stay away from those narcissistic people. They only care about themselves, okay? Because they, they don't need a video like this. Because instinctually, that's what they're going to do anyway. They're going to put their self first. And they're never going to be there for you. Bye, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share.